Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and good evening. Good evening and welcome. Thank you for being here one more time. Thank you for participating in these daily Bible lessons. I appreciate you and I thank you for being here. For you are seeking the Lord and you are here drawing closer to Him. As you draw close to Him and you make one step, the Lord will make two and three and four steps towards you. As you stretch your hands out to Him, the Lord will stretch His, His hands to Him and hold your hand. Hold on to the Lord. Father God, bless us. Bless us with your truth, your righteousness. Bless us with your word. In Jesus' mighty name, as we prepare for this end time battles, continue to give us strength in the battle. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. And again, this is Dr. PJ from Dr. PJ Prophetic Word. We're going to be studying Psalm number 6. And I'm reading also from the King James Version. It says here in verse 1, To the chief musician on Niganot, upon Sheminith, a Psalm of David. And remember, Niganot is the smiting, is the warring. Is a spiritual warfare, is a physical warfare, but David was a man of the God own heart, of a God own soul. He seek God. So we have to be like Brother David. We gotta seek God with all our heart and with all our might. Let us seek him together. It says here in verse one O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy displeasure have mercy upon me O Lord for I am weak O Lord heal me for my bones are vexed my soul is also so vexed but though O Lord how long return O Lord deliver my soul O save me for thy mercy's sake for in debt there is no remembrance of thee in the grave who shall give thee thanks i am weary with my groaning all the night make i my bed to swim i water my couch with my tears my eye is consumed because of grief it waxed old because of all of my enemies Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. For the Lord had heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord had heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and so vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. And you see, this is the Psalm of David. And in this Psalm, we see that he humbled himself and we humble ourselves as we learn and we study this word from you, O Lord. Father God, we humble ourselves unto you in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. We humble ourselves and we cry out to you for you to have mercy upon us in this time, in this situation that we first in, in the condition that we in right now, Father God, have mercy upon us. Amen, Father God. And separate yourself from, wick, from wickedness. Uh, it says in verse 8. Depart from me all you workers of iniquity. For the Lord had heard the voice of my weeping. Se separate yourself from wickedness. I said come out from among them and be separate. The Lord had heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed. And so vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for these prayers. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you, Father, for, for your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Mashiach, Emmanuel. Thank you for the King of Kings, Father God. Thank you for the blood and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we thank you for your only begotten Son that is sitting at your right hand. Oh, Father God, we praise you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you in this condition that we live in. We praise you, Lord, because we know you are God and you are greater, Father God. Greater is he that's in me, that's who's in 
the world. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you fight my battles for me, Father God. Thank you for fighting, Father God. You will sustain me. You are the lift of my head, Father God. You are my glory, O oh God, Father. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be blessed, be encouraged, sisters and brothers. And remember, defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.